uh, Darren Waller is no longer a Raider. Uh, you know what? You know what? It's sort of getting on my nerves. My players ending up on your football teams is <laughs> because this guy roots for the Saints I and the Giants. It. First of all, that's a psychotic tendency to have two teams. No, it's not. It's whatever. Um, especially in the same conference, but okay. Um, their car goes to the Saints. We talked about that. And then they're in Waller. I'm, I'm sitting, where am I? I'm doing a project. And my phone's just like this. Pew, pew, pew. Just fireworks going off. And I'm like, what is happening? So I leave the project and I get Dale, our buddy Dale, sends, us a, sends me a clip. And it's a clip from Madagascar. And it's that guy going, all hail the New York Giants. <laughs> and I'm like, what? That, that's the only thing I saw. And then I go to Bleach Report and I see Darren Waller in a Giants jersey. Go ahead. Well, I want to ask you. First of all, I live in New York, so I root for the Giants. And second of all, Drew Brees is my favorite player of all time. Go ahead. Next, do you think it was a good trade for them to lose Waller since they got to, I would say, average tight ends in return? Which you could use in an offense, you could use like they, they could use it really well. And Waller played what six games last year, yeah. So, who knows where that people him could be injured six games again this year? Is that if you want him to play six games again, or you want him off the team, right? I think, I think this is an example of. of- the Raider fans, and every fan base is like this, but Raider fans are just extremely passionate because they want to win. I get it. I'm a Raider fan myself. I think this was an example of they saw the trade and they were like, oh, my God, McDaniels. I, oh, this guy. What? Yeah. What are you? What? I can't believe. Guys, Darren Waller is on the wrong side of 30. He's missed at least 10 games in the last two seasons. At least. Probably more. If they if they could have gotten higher than a third round pick, guess what? They they, they would. would have. Yeah. It's not like they were like, you know, we got this second from the Dolphins, but we got this third from the Giants. He looks better in blue. Darren, where do you want to go? Oh, New- okay, we'll send you to New York. That's not how this works. They got. They said, hey, National Football League. Darren Waller's available. You know, Show me your best offer. And the best offer that they got. Now, if Kansas City said, we'll give you one, it doesn't matter. You can't give it to Kansas City under any circumstances. Yeah. But that didn't happen. So they got the they took the best deal. And like you said, it's essentially Darren Waller for a third-round pick and O.J. Howard and Austin Hooper. Can those two equate to any sort of level of production? Which I think they can. Right. And another thing to consider is that Josh McDaniels loves his two tight end sets. But with those two tight end sets, you need two tight ends that can block. And Foster Moreau last year is a good blocking tight end and a good pass catching tight end. Darren Waller is not a good blocking tight end. You know, that's that's fine. Neither is Travis Kelsey isn't the best blocker in the world, but nobody can but, guard him. It's not a knock. Yeah. It's just is what it is. So he was like, I need two big strong guys. OJ Howard is six six. And Austin Hooper's a he's just a mauler. I need two guys that can block for me when I need to, and then when we do play action, they can go out and run routes. So those are the type of tight ends he needs in the offense. I agree. And basically to what you just said, who's a better fit for Jimmy G, Dan Waller or those two? Right. Who do you think? If if you're smart and you know football, it's Austin Hooper and O.J. Howard. Without question. I mean, even with yeah. Carr, him and Carr and Waller have had such a good rapport these last few years. And then when Waller was playing this year, it was hard to get him the ball just because he didn't it didn't work in his offense. So, I think it was a good move. Again, do you, it, is his play, when completely healthy, worth more than a third? Yes, obviously. He's one of the top 100 players in the league. But that's the best offer you can get when, like I said, he's on the wrong side of 30 and he gets hurt all the time. A third-round pick could end up being a starter this year if you pick the right player. Or you could take that pick and trade up for people. So, listen, I think it's a win for the Raiders. I also think it's a win for the Giants. You get another weapon for Daniel Dimes, your boy, your franchise quarterback, who got a hundred and whatever million. Good luck with that. And uh, if if you, you just got a bunch of people, like if Saquon and Darren Waller play all sixteen games, I think the Giants are a lock playoff team again. Agreed. Agreed. I would be excited if I were you. I mean, mm-hmm. he's listen, he's a great guy. Like, I'm 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 super excited. But look at those two players you just named. 
Right. Saquon, first full season for the last three seasons. Now, Waller, the last two seasons, barely been played. So, are they top 100 guys when they're healthy? Yes. But do you have to be playing to be a top 100 player? And if they're not playing, gone. Season's over. But if they do play, we're, we're back in the playoffs. Hopefully, Daniel Jones should have more than 12 touchdown passes. <laughs> Hopefully. And show everyone why he's worth, what was it, $35 million a year? Something, something crazy like that. I mean, in all, in all seriousness, this is why you go get Darren Waller, so, you, so he could tr- further prove. Like, this why? year he's like, I, he's like, I won't turn the football over, I promise. We're like, okay. And then he didn't. He didn't agreed. really fumble. He didn't throw any I passes. Agree. Now it's like, okay, Daniel, can you, like, throw some touchdown passes and then not turn the ball over? Um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, it should be an interesting little offense they got there. They still need, like, a good receiver they don't have yet. But, you know, I guess maybe that's... Can we...